Yeah. My mom, yeah. The same mom that's ready to you, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Wow. Suck my mom. Suck my mom. Suck my. Yes, YouTube. What's good? It's your boy Denzi Two and E. Please do not mad me. And yes, guys, we are back with another story time. Now I know it's been a minute since I've last uploaded, but guys, I'm back and I'll be real with you guys. This one here, it's a lot. And when I say it's a lot, I mean it's a lot. So just be mentally, physically, spiritually, phenomenally prepared for this one. But before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, socials, all of that. I'm not even going to do too much talking, I'm just going to get straight into it. So this is the story time how me and my cousin got into an altercation. Cool. So from the 27th of October until the 30th of October, I went down to Manchester to celebrate with him initially. So let me break it down. So the 27th was like the pre-day of the main day, if that makes sense. So the 28th was the main day for his birthday, where it was meant to be me, him and his friends. So the day before was just me and him and it's supposed to be a influencer event. Cool. So we're gonna get into it. But before I get into it, let me give you guys a little a little um summary of me and my cousin's weird relationship. So prior to this, like maybe a year, maybe like beforehand, we've had a lot of on, on and offs, ups and downs. Now I'm somebody where someone will do me wrong and even though it's not my fault in that situation, I'll always feel bad and kind of forgive them kind of thing. We've had lots of ups and downs. Like some of the things I shouldn't have really forgave him for, do you understand? And one thing I can say with him is the times where we had our ups and downs, I can see through him and I've seen that when he drinks and has alcohol consumed in his system, he is a different person. And those people I stay far from because they're trying to tell you something. They're trying to tell you how they really feel about you. I am a true believer of that saying, drunk sayings are sober thoughts. That saying is really true. And people like him have made me realise more and more why that saying is such a strong saying. For example, one time I had an ex that I was with and obviously me and this ex we wasn't really like on bad times like that it just it never really worked out but one thing i've always said to her is i've always worked to keep the peace and be cool with her do you understand now i introduced them both to one another because at that time i felt like i was close to do to the two of them so therefore I, I did that i don't like the fact that how now me and her are not talking or we broken up kind of thing i feel like he's kind of trying to flirt with her kind of thing i don't know if i still have the screenshots but if i do then they'll be at the top here if you guys want to stop and pause the video or read them feel free to do so and from the messages i do remember it did seem like he was trying to move to her kind of thing like i did ask her are you two together kind of thing because the way that they were talking and on live together only god knows what they're speaking about on that live but i do remember asking her and she was like it's not adapting kind of thing cool and one thing with him, he's a liar as well. Like certain things, not just with that, but he's a known liar. I mean, if you have to be shipped to another country for your antics and lying about it, then it must speak levels, right? But that's another conversation that nobody's ready for. Anyways, that's just one summary. Another summary is he came down for my birthday. That's the only reason why I even was going to go to Manchester and went to Manchester because last year, even though he fell out, Last year, over that, and that was the last time me and him spoke, I still, you know what I'm saying? Cool. So it was a thing where he calmed down. Even before we calmed down, I wasn't in London, and he knew this. I was away for family reasons, and he knew of why I wasn't here. Cool. However, on the day before, I was supposed to calm down by X was at the time. And you know when black people timing happens, you don't stick to that. Cool. It's not a thing where I didn't update him. I updated him with what was going on and everything else. So when you're still bending off my phone after I'm updating you, it's not making sense. It's not like I've just left you for dead and I'm not saying that to you, not replying, do you understand? So that already pissed me off with him. Then we come. And obviously before, we're on our way in the M-way. Because as I said, I'm not home. We're away, do you understand? You're calling off my phone, texting off my phone, I'm trying to tell you. And 
Me, I just things like that will make me just want to be rude. Do you understand? But I'm keeping the call. Because one thing with him, like, anytime I say one little thing to him, he likes to get in his feelings, and that's like, I'm the one that's bothered. It doesn't make sense. Cool. Anyway, moving on from that. Come now. We've gone out. The club is dead. No one's even there. He's decided to buy a bottle of Hennessy. Cool. What I don't like is when drinks are being poured, I'm drinking my drinks, and then you're trying to control. I don't like being controlled. I don't like people telling me what to do. I don't like being limited on what I can and can't do, especially when it's my birthday, and I don't like doing birthdays. And I did it because of you saying you was going to come down. So the fact that I've broken my own promise of not doing birthdays no more for you, and then you, you're doing all that, I'm not going to be happy, of course. So then we had an argument. I was cussing him out, all this other stuff. It was a long thing. Cool. That's just that. And it's very provoking because even that same following morning now, my arm is in pain. Woke up with mad arm pain. Don't know why. I must have dropped, you know, drunk antics. Cool. You come back now. It's my house late from after party. Cool. Whatever. I'm telling you my arm's hurting me. Why are you hitting my arm? And to be honest with you, from that fucking day, I should have beat the shit out of you. But I didn't do that because I don't want to put my hands on my relative. But that's I was so close to doing so, but I couldn't do that because it shouldn't go down there. That's just a brief summary. So those two events I've just re- I've just mentioned are just those are the uh, there's more than that, but those are the main examples of why me and him have ups and downs and why I can't be around him. Cool. So I've come to Manchester from London and. I took a coach and if you know about them things there you know it's not it's not like no hours journey it's a couple of like hours of talking cool I said no problem and I've been wanting to come Manchester anyway so that's why I think that's why I said cool I will come cool what I didn't like from before I even came down so let me also mention he told me about this whole thing like let's say like August September time so he gave me plenty of notice so there was no issue for that for me to book my ticket book the um the club and all that other stuff the one thing I did not like was when he told his friends one of his friends is going on about the fact of she don't want to go there because there's too many uncles and stuff like that but my thing is if that's the case cool but why are you only mentioning this now that it's like what a day or two before it's the time to go out. I don't like things like that. I don't like this whole last minute stuff. And this is why this is why I don't do birthdays because people want to have an excuse why they can't come or for this. I don't have time for all that shit. So I would just rather not. But it's not my birthday, so I can't really be getting mad. But it is annoying. Not only because I'm coming all the way down, but it's just like, why is why are you only saying this now? Now I'm not sure if he gave them notice like he did with me. But either what way, come on now, you can't be doing all that. Cool. So that was my first thing And I did say to him When I see your friend I'm going to have a word of her I don't like that I'm going to pull up on it Cool Because I'm learning to be that person To speak on things I'm not going to just keep holding on Because then this is why I just have these mad outbursts Because I'm holding on to it for so long I can't hold it no more And then it just You understand Cool So I've come now I've, man- I've reached in Manchester And he's telling me like From where I am to his it's literally just a tram a couple of stops cool no problem jumped on the tram obviously at the time I'm impatient it's gonna feel longer but it, it's fine got on the tram I'll come now we're cool pre-drinking because that's one thing in me before I go out I always like to pre-drink so we're pre-drinking together cool no problem things are fine at first and remember this is the first day not the main day this is day one the 27th the day before his main actual day for his birthday cool so we got to the club now. I remember when I said at the start, it's meant to be a influencer event for footballers or whatever he said. It seemed like a normal club. I'm not even lying. It wasn't no influence event. It wasn't giving influence events, if I say it for myself. Now, my thing is, yeah, when it comes to going out, clubbing especially, my thing is, you guys pull up together, you stay together, and you leave together. Do you understand? So when people are are nowhere to be seen, every time I turn around, I'm not knowing where people are. It's kind of an issue. Now, I'm not expecting you to be around my side at all times. That's not what I'm saying. But it's just this is why things like not knowing where your friends are in the club kind of thing happens. Because people don't know how to communicate. It, It all comes down to communication. You could have simply just told me where you're going. And bearing in mind, this is not my city. I don't know nobody here. None of that shit. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? kind of threw me off a little bit and with me I'm learning to be more like a person to speak up 
so i've seen you now i'm telling you come outside let me chat to you not on no beefing not on no rooting none of that literally just telling you how i feel and da 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 so he's come outside now and i'm just looking at his body language because i'm sometimes observant and these are things let me tell you as well these are things that i struggle with as well i'm not perfect sometimes i don't have the best body language or don't want to make eye contact at times but when i'm trying to come and talk to you about something and you're not even acknowledging what i'm saying you're talking over me all these other things and then in the end of it i'm trying to talk to you you're fucking walking away from me i wasn't even trying to come at you at the slightest was i even trying to come at you i was not so the fact that i'm trying to chat to you and you just walked away so now I'm going to be rude to you next time I chat to you because when I come, and this is why me, I don't be nice anymore. Because when I try and talk to people and be nice to people, they want to throw it in my face and I like I'm the problem. So now when I come and be rude, you can't say nothing to me. Because at least I tried. Do you get it? So now I have a reason to actually be rude to you. Do you understand? So that threw me off and now my energy is completely off like for the rest of the night. And I'm not no, I just stand up, I just stay outside because I'm not going back in there. Because if I go back in there, I'm gonna diss up his blood clot bad. Cause he knows what I'm like as well. So the fact that you're even doing that, knowing how I go from zero to a thousand, you're stupid. And I don't know if you thought that I wasn't gonna, but I was going to. So I said, you know what, let me stay outside. I'm not gonna come here, it's not my city, I'm not gonna come here and cause problem. I didn't come here for that. I come here to get lit to have a good time. But this is day one, I'm already I'm not enjoying myself and already you're you're doing the most so let me stand outside i'm gonna just chill outside until the club is done because remember i meant to stand at his house i meant to be a guest at his house it's not like i could just get me a cab and gone home because that's what i would have done if this is my city or i knew i was going or i bought to a hotel that day i would have gone home i would have gone to the hotel and i was gonna book a hotel but then i said you know what let me save me some money and seeing as he said i can stay at his house let me stay there then it now, now the night comes to an end and this is where the problem occurs now the night comes to an end now everyone's coming out of the club everyone's you know mingling with their friends or trying to go home you know usual antics often in the night ends why is this guy the loudest fucking person to come out of this club loudest biggest mouth are everybody in that one club doing the most so already i'm thinking he the liquor's got to him and he's really he's gonna do the most now but me i'm trying to i'm gonna try to keep it calm but as i said i'm not really on that because now when i was being nice she wasn't listening you didn't care so now i'm gonna be rude to you he's in my face doing the most and i'm looking around and then i go back look to him i'm like do you think anyone in this club can save you because i don't understand who he was hyping and piping up himself for but it could never be me you get it and as i said i think he's forgetting who i am and who he's dealing with because you can't be talking to me like that you can talk to your little dirty stinking crusty gremlin friends like that but you're not chatting to me like that you, when you talk to me you're going to talk to me with respect and manners if not don't talk to me at all do you understand so i'm letting him know who are you chatting to you're not chatting to me and then he goes on with himself talking about i'm evil i'm this i'm that do you know the most so it's like you want a problem and I don't understand why. I don't get why. You're doing the most. And then I lost it when he told me to suck my mum. Sorry? And you lot would have heard that in the intro of the video. I didn't even put no intro. So that, that that's the intro. So you lot can hear that I'm not lying as well. Suck whose mum? Bearing in mind as I said to you guys, I'm meant to be related and you're telling me to suck my mum. It's not even about the rudeness. It doesn't even make sense. It's stupid telling me to suck my mom what doesn't doesn't make sense this the same mom that you was crying on the phone to the same mom that you messaged to speak to me the same mom that you was telling her you're scared and how i'm acting crazy and you think i'm gonna kill you but you're saying to suck my mom <laughs> okay and it wasn't even that then now he, he he keeps blaring out talking about i'll fight you i'll fight you doing a fight i'll fight you i'm not fight for what Listen, as much as I was annoyed and all of that other stuff, it was never that serious to, to escalate it to a fight. This could have easily been a sit-down, face-to-face conversation, but people always want to take it. And this is what I understand this generation. Nowadays, if you say one little thing, oh, fight, 
oh this fight oh don't like this fight like it doesn't make it's not everyday fight sometimes yeah cool it may end up being there but it's not all the time for every little thing people want to be fighting for what so now i'm at a point where you know what you want to fight you want to fight a fight we got blood cloud fight then you want to fight come make me blood cloud fight then in this because you want to fight come Come, you think see how bad? Touch a blood clap, bomb a ass, push the cleat button then. Alright then. He thought he was bad. <laughs> it's funny now, but at the time it was not funny. And as I get into it, the smile won't be on my face. So he wants to fight. Walks up to me. Now, I know in most cases people believe in that. Let them hit you first, and then when you hit them back, it's self-defense. I don't care about all that. You walk up to me, I'm going to punch you in your face. That's what I did. Walk up to me, I punch him in his face, I'm punching him out, I'm beating the shit out of him now. Yeah, live old beating the shit out of you. Drag your pussy clap on the blood clap floor. You get drug up like a rag doll. Now you're on the floor, and as you're on the floor, I'm punching you up more. Yeah. <laughs> So he got run up. He run up to get done up. How does that feel? How does that feel? How you run up to get done up? How you start a fight and lose the fight? How you chat shit to get banged up? How does that make sense? Someone let me know in the comments. Please let me know. Let me know. Let me know. And as I said to you guys, I wasn't even trying to fight the guy. Number one, we're meant to be related. And number two, it's never that serious. So what the fuck are we fighting for? Because you're, because you're drunk. Because there's people around you and I hype up. Because I don't know if you thought that then people were going to stop him or me from battering the shit out of you. But you got battered like fish. That's exactly what happened. And let me tell you something for free. I'm not going to talk too loose because you see this channel here. You see YouTube here. I'm not trying to get demonetized. I'm not even monetized yet. But you see from, but from security guards, you're lucky even here. Let me put it that way. Because but for security, you'd be up there in hell with Satan. Let me tell you that for free. Yeah? Oh, because as I said, you must have forgot who I was. I don't play them kind of games. And let me also add, I'm not even a fighter for real. I've been in two fights in my whole life. Understand? Two big people I fought too. I don't go around fighting, and them two fights I even had were unprovoked. You understand? I don't go around fighting people. I'm not no fighter. And this is also do not talk shit if you can't fight. Because clearly you can't. I don't know what fights you had before, but you can't. Because you did, you barely touched my face. You can't really see. I will even insert actual videos because this lighting is going to block out my face. But where have I got marks? I don't have no marks. The only marks I had was from punching the shit out of you, you fucking punching bag. That's what you are. You're a punching bag. You are a little punching bag. Did you really think you was going to beat me? Is that what you thought? Is that what you actually thought? You embarrassment. You're stupid. You're fool. You are an embarrassment to your own city. How the fuck do I come four hours away from my city to your city to punch you the fuck up outside of a club in your own city? You can never chat for me. Never in eternity of life can you ever, ever in your life have chat for me. Never. Not only that, the other things that I could even speak on to expose and embarrass you, you could never in a trillion years have chat for me ever. Never. Moving swiftly. <laughs> Whew. You don't think it gets bad. You don't think that's bad. You don't think that's bad. That's nothing. That is nothing. From what I'm about to tell you, Lord, onwards, it gets worse. So as I've said, we've had the fight. I beat the shit out of this fucking punching bag now. Security dragged me away, as well as him. He even tried to throw something at me. And you missed. You missed. Dodging it. Dodging it. Yeah, you missed. But nice try. Nice try. You missed. And then, obviously, I'll be real with you guys as well. I'll be nothing but real on this channel. I started crying. Because the fact that I had to fight my own relative and you're saying these horrible things to me and you're embarrassed, trying to embarrass me in front of everyone in this club. Sorry, out of this club because we're outside now at this point. It's sad. I've come all this way. I've bought time off work. All because I want to have a good time and celebrate with you. And then this is how you're treating me. 
and I ain't done nothing wrong to you. All I was trying to do was talk to you, and then you want to be acting like that, and then on top of that, give me physical and verbal abuse. It's crazy. So that's what I'm saying. I actually deeped what actually happened. The fact that I've just been into a fight, and on top of that, with my own someone I'm meant to call cousin, it's 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 actually insane. Do you understand? So yeah, it took me a while. Like I actually was like in the moment and that, and that time after having to fight. Please tell me why. So now I'm turning around. Please tell me why. He's got into someone's car and he's drove off. He's got into. Let me repeat that. He's got into somebody's car. He's driven off and he's left me for dead. All up until a certain point. So as that's happened, I'm not gonna lie, more tears were gushing from my face because now it's a thing where I'm outside, it's dark, I've just gone to a fight with my cousin, don't know where I am, didn't even have back to my phone like that. And I was like, what am I meant to do? Where do I go from here? Do you understand? And I had to do something that I never f- thought I'd ever do, would never do it in my city, another city, or another country. But I had to in this moment. So two no yeah two guys obviously one was driving the car they've pulled up and they've obviously seen me cry my eyes out they would have seen or heard the altercation go on prior as well they told me to get in the car and as i said i would never in any life do this but because i felt like i had no option at the time that's the only reason why i did that so i've got into their car now cool and as i'm trying to calm myself down i'm explaining to them what happened why it happened and what caused for it to happen kind of thing cool same time we're also trying to get through to him i'm trying to call him multiple times because remember i meant to stay at his house my stuff's at his house all these other kind of things and i'm trying to call him and he's putting the phone down he's shouting down the phone like crazy and i said you know what let me call my mother the only woman that can be peacemaker in this situation because i'm not getting through to him no one else can get through to him i don't have his address i don't know how, there's no way of me getting to him other than trying to phone him do you understand he put the phone down so i explained to her what happened obviously it was a lot for her to intake i'm still trying to intake it all and then she said to me she'll speak to him and then when she's like spoke to him she'll call me back which is what she did and obviously we've been waiting for her to get back to me we've pulled up to these two guys like the house they're staying at or whatever just waiting outside because then they need to like they're saying to let them know where it's best to take me to because it would have taught me wherever it was they needed to take me cool and um what do you call it now she's called me back and then she's spoken to him she's saying to meet him back at the same club that he fought at yeah. but obviously everyone would have been gone I didn't really care about that I wasn't even thinking about everybody else at that time I just saw red and emotions and stuff I didn't care about no one else I just wanted to get my stuff to be honest with you I wanted to get my stuff and I was ready to go home that night I said nah this is it I'm not doing this again do you get it and this is the same guy who's apologised multiple times and all this other stuff but you're doing the same shit that you say you're oh so sorry for but you're doing and now this is getting worse than the last times before do you understand cool so they drove me back to the club I thanked them um and one of them exchanged numbers with and he said to me just like keep him posted with what's going on and when me and him resolved our issue and I just thanked him and I have to big him up as well for real because but for him but for them too I don't know where the fuck I'd be right now I don't think I'd even be sat here filming this video talking to you guys and that's real shit and it gets worse trust me but we'll get into that in just a moment so I pulled back up I'm with him now trying to talk to him and again you're talking over me you're not listening and i'm getting frustrated because it's like it's a lot and i told him i want to i wasn't even trying to fight you kind of thing i don't know why you want to fight me it doesn't even make sense do you understand and my mom was on the phone same way i'm on the phone to her and i'm saying to her like you can hear he's not listening da, 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 da. i'm getting frustrated and then of it we spoke he got a cab back to the house cool now I'm gonna say this it's not nothing deep so obviously I ordered food and and as I get into the next part you understand why I've just mentioned that it's, it's not the fact that I've just ordered food because we're hungry you'll get into that we'll get into that cool so that was day one the 27th of October 2023 and yes ladies and gentlemen that shit is a lot that shit was a lot <laughs> whew
Right. So we're going to get into the next day. So cool. This is now the 28th of October 2023. So as I mentioned before, he's the main day for his birthday. Where it's supposed to be him, myself and a couple of his female friends. Cool. So I had to kind of act like nothing happened. Not really how I roll these days, but you know, for the sake of what's going on, cool. I had to fight you, beat the shit out of you, and then act like nothing happened. Cool. So this is the main day. Um, went to go to a nightclub and went to pull up in style. So he ordered a limousine for us all. Nice. And obviously, I've never been in a limousine before, been a nice experience, you know, get some pictures and videos, but we'll get into all that too. So, let's just summarise the first day again. So, the 27th of October, 2023, I feel like was based on physical abuse, verbal abuse, dismissal, but mainly I'd say physical and verbal abuse, yeah? So, now this day, the 28th of October, 2023, I feel like is based on main character syndrome. And we're gonna talk about it now. It's cool. You know, I also find funny before I talk into it. Sorry. You know, what I find funny is not only the fact of what's happened the day before. It's funny to me how you're so quick to be horrible to me, put your hands on me, have all this mad energy for me. But these same friends, did they come? Where are they? They didn't come. Sorry, my airport fell out. <laughs> they didn't come. Ain't that funny? Someone like me who's come from London, to come miles, thousands of, mi thousands of miles, I've come all this way for you to treat me like this. I could have stayed at home. I could have been. I could have stayed at work. I could have stayed at work. And to be honest with you, it's my fault. But we'll get into that also. So cool. In the end of it, only one of his friends came, and I'll be real. His friend, that the one friend that did come, she was cool. Me and her vibe, match energies. Now. Pictures. One thing with me, when I look good, feel like I look good, whether I look good or not, I like to get pictures. You understand? Especially because the outfits I was wearing, they was very much giving. Do you understand? And I didn't even get no pictures in it. Like not even one picture. Not even one not even one picture on my phone. If I show you like my camera roll from the twenty seventh of October until the thirtieth of October, there's nothing to show. From when I was with, with when I was with him, there's nothing to show. A couple of videos on my snap, but there's no actual pictures. Why is it when I ask you for pictures that turns into you getting pictures and you only? How is how, how is that fair? Like I said, do not get me wrong. When it comes to birthdays, I understand it's about that person. But also for when there's others with you trying to celebrate, you have to make sure that they feel comfortable and happy as well. They need to be considered also. Otherwise, spend it on your own if that's the case. I've asked you, and instead of me getting some, only you alone get some. And even when I'm taking your pictures, you're bare complaining about this one. Oh, I don't like this one. I don't like that one. You didn't understand? So from this point, I'm pissed off. But I even promised everybody from that same first night, the 27th of October, 2023, I said, I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to put my hands on him. I'm not even going to react or retaliate to anything he says. I'm just going to brush it off and ignore it. Because... I'm not gonna I don't have to beat the shit out of you again Because that's how I'm gonna react Next time you say something I don't like I'll just punch you in your face But I said I promise everybody I'm not gonna do anything Cool So we come outside now Walk into the limo Because it's arrived now I said in my head I said to myself in my head You know what I don't even want no pictures again You know I just wanna get there And, and whatever happens from there Happens from there Because I'm at a point where like, I'm feeling distance towards you I wanna be around you But because You know I can't just get up and leave I gotta deal with it in a certain way. So in the limo, his friend asked the driver about charging her phone and the Bluetooth. So she asked about charging her phone. And this is what I don't like. You're chiming into things, not even knowing what's actually been said, not knowing what's going on, thinking you know it all, and you're making it out as if she was trying to argue the driver when no one was doing that. And I heard what she was saying. I didn't say nothing like I said, I'm keeping quiet. Because I could have said it's not da, da 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 But I said I'm not involving myself Because when you talk to me like that I'm not going to argue anymore From now on I put hands on you I'm not going to argue I'm just going to straight hit you And I said I'm not going to do that 
cool. So that's that now. He's gone on that, and I said I'm not involved myself. Cool. <sighs> so we get to the club now, and the end of it. Even with the whole music stuff as well, because yes, he did allow us to play music. He said, do, 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 connect it. Cool. Now, with him, he loves his I'm a piano music. Now, me, I do like that music as well, but I am not someone who can listen to that alone. If there's if there's one genre that I have to listen to the rest of my life, it have to be it. Sorry, <laughs> it have to be Bashman. Cool, but I'm very versatile with it. I can listen to any other genre as well. As I said, I don't mind that I'm a piano, but that's all you want to listen to. That since from the first day, that's all I was hearing was I'm a piano, I'm a piano in the club, I'm a piano. When we go back to the house, I'm a piano. When you wake up, I'm a piano. Like bro, switch it up a little bit. The only time when I from when the only time I heard Bashment was when I came down and I put on the songs. But then even at a certain point, you switching up to I'm a piano. Like I don't want to just be here to listen to I'm a piano all day. And you're meant to be a Jamaican as well, and you're listening to like there's nothing wrong with listening to different cultures of music but as a Jamaican you don't even listen to Bashment again since you've been introduced to I'm a piano that's all you listen to it's mad I mean to be honest you look more African than Jamaican anyway so affairs anyways <laughs> anyways <laughs> anyways so I'll try to play some tunes because you know it should be okay for everyone to play their tune one by one I put on my song you're switching the song fucking excuse me that huh and it's not even that like you put on a song you put on a whole I'm a piano playlist I'm like you're doing too much but as I said I'm not saying nothing because when I say something that gets me in problem so I just said cool I just ignored it and I was just on my phone I was just like I wasn't there I, I signed out basically I was I might have been physically there, but mentally I wasn't there. I said I'm standing out. I'm not. I'm not on this one. This is on, on my anti-social shit. I'm not here. I'm not with it. Get to the club now. Cool. Mood's not really there like that. I'm just there to get there, and I'm probably just gonna try to see if I'm catch a little space. Cool. Get there now. And he's talking about how um he wants to buy drinks. Now one thing in me, because as I said, he's a different person when he drinks. I'm being mindful because I'm not having no one try to act like I don't know what I'm doing when I'm drunk. So I'm not drinking too much around you so I can witness this behaviour and, you know what I'm saying, be very aware when it comes to certain people. And that's just me. So I'm not, I don't need no drinks at the bar. I'm good. I have everything I had before the house. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm not being no sloppy drunk around you. Do you, you get it? Cool. Go on, go buy a drink then. He's done that. I said, I said, you can do that. Me and his friend will wait. We'll be waiting. You've come back now. Cool. You've come back. And now you're saying you want to go into the crowd. Do that. My thing is as well. From when you was okay to leave me here, leave me there, do that. Go on, go do yado. Me not business again. Because you're gone. You're gone from before. Me not business right now. You can't go on and do yado. Me not blood clot business. You understand? That was me. I didn't say that. But... I'm not really saying nothing to you because I'm not talking to you like that. I don't care. You think because I'm around you, I've got to talk to you. I don't care. I'm like that. If I don't want to talk to you, I will not talk to you. No one's going to make me talk to no one unless I want to talk to someone. Do you understand? So you, you lot have gone. I'm holding my corner. I found somewhere where there's a plug. So I've just stood the whole club 90% of the time on my ones. Cool. So these two girls who know of him. Now, we're going to name them A and B. Simple things. Cool. A and B have come to me. And they're asking if I've seen him. And then they asked me, like, if, how do I know him? I told them, sorry, I've told them he's my cousin. And I'm asking, like, they've, no, sorry, they've told me, like, how they know of him and stuff. And I've asked them. And um, one of them tells me that how they're not really cool like that. Basically, they told me how he was like being mixed up and stuff. And they were trying to chat to him about it. And then he was moving weird and end up being rude as well and and not blocking them whatever the situation they had to block him sorry so to me it's like okay i'm not the only one and also what was i gonna say now what was i gonna say i don't remember but all i know is is that from when me and them was on the same page i guess kind of end up chilling with them because they was cool 
we could relate to how he's weird and stuff so we just chilled cool so as I said at first I was on my own they would come to me here and there I charged their phones for them cool whatever then at one point they went like went to the crowd sat down I sat with them even that it's it was weird like it was very divided I'm with them too he's with his people them we're literally like in literal close distance but he's not really paying us mind we're not paying them no mind cool I don't mind because I don't really care like, I don't care I'm ready to go home that's all I'm thinking and even that same night the 28th of October 2023 I was ready to book a ticket to go back to London the next day the 29th and I booked the ticket cool club comes to an end he's on my after party they're doing my after party I'm talking about not going to after party because I'm not going to after party for I don't want to go I'm not going to after party I didn't want to come out let them go after party you understand but I paid my money to come here and even that's why I was pissed off as well that his friend had the audacity to complain about the club and then we switched to the club and the club ticket is £16 excuse me who what where, where? would I ever pay £16 to go to a club if I'm paying that much money it better be worth my money but you know what this club we went to was better than the first one I will say that but still never would I pay that much the most I'm paying is like 11 to 12 pound 16 is a stretch because that's, that's basically 20s the fuck's paying 20 pound to, to go to a club be for real I actually liked the second club we went to but the vibe was not there for me I, I, I would go there again definitely would go there again but I need to go with different people put it that way understand because my vibe was off i wasn't really engaging nothing like that i feel like i was just there i feel like i was just there literally just there as a fucking prop or something anyway they're talking about after party and i'm telling him i'm not trying to go i'll be real like just give me your key and your address i'll book my cab to the house and you can do your doing he's saying nah he's gonna book the cab he's got he, he wants to go back home himself anyway cool and obviously i've told the two, like I told A and B that oh I'm not going. They're like oh just calm, just calm. And, um, and I said I said to them maybe I'll come, but let me go back to the house first. And then if I anything I let you not know. Take my snap. Cool, cause I said they was cool, and obviously I would never see them again. It was actually nice to meet them, but I don't know. I I've not heard from them since anyway. But cool. So now cousin comes back out now. Please tell me why. He's come back out because he went back into the club to find them. Then he's come back out. He's going to someone's car. Please tell me why I'm to run off this fucking car like I was chasing ops or something like that. You just said you're going to book the cab for us both to go back to the yard for you to do what you're doing, then go meet them. So, how's it now gone from that to you jumping in the next person's car? And listen, Manchester or you lot in any other city, I don't know if it's a thing for you lot to just jump in people's cars, but that's not normal. That's not normal. Why are you lot just jumping in people's cars that I don't understand? That, it's weird if that's what you lot do do that but don't be doing that with me because I'm not doing that with you so he's obviously out of his mind once again and I'm not going to get mad all I want is the address and the key let me go I've, I've done that before I bought my cab I showed him the address that I tapped into notes I said is this the right address yes or no he's told me it is so he's confirmed it at this point I've bought my cab the cab has come please tell me why I pulled up. I need my inhaler for this one. I'm not gonna last you lot. I need my inhaler because this is not. This is a lot. This is actually a lot, and it's not even funny. Please tell me why I pulled up, and it's not the right address. Bearing in mind, I told you guys, and I showed him the address to make sure it's the correct address and he's told me it is and I pull up and it's not and I knew it wasn't because he lives in a block of flats and as I pulled up all I'm seeing is houses 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 my phone every time I'm in a crisis my phone wants to be on a low battery it's nowhere to be seen and remember when I mentioned if you look remember when I mentioned about the fact that I order food this is why because when I order food it will show the address so I've gone on to was it just eat wherever I ordered the food from and I found the address it wasn't the same address you sent me now I get a block of flats it may be a slight difference or confusion and them things there I get that but I've gone there and you know what 
to the girl that I was talking to, Mina is still cool now. Big ups to her. Because but for her, I called her, I was in a panic and all that. I was literally having a breakdown and everything and she was there hearing it out, talking to me, calming me down, reassuring me, all that. So big ups to her every time, yeah? Because but for her, again, I don't think I'd even be here. Yeah? Big ups to her every fucking time. She might not watch this, but big ups to her, innit? Cool. I put in the um stage the tram stop. Because I said it could be that, but I don't want to risk it. I said, let me put in that in and I'll figure it out from there. So cool, I've got another, I had to get another cab now. I've explained to drive everything that's going on and whatnot. I'm crying my eyes out, all this shit. Cool. And obviously, he had a charging port, so I charged my phone. And do you know how I also knew that it was the wrong address for real? Why are we on an M way? Why are we on an M way? I thought I was going back to fucking London the way that we was on the M-Way for so long as well. So he's, I don't know what address he's giving me. Must have been the other side of Manchester because there is no way. No way. We was in that cab for a good 30 minutes. I say we, it was just me and the girls on the phone too. Finally arrived at the tram stop. And I know from the tram stop is not a far walk. I put that address in. I'm walking. I found my house. I found the house. Got in. And I tell you guys, I had to process life. I was literally sat and stared into space for an hour straight talking to myself. No lie. And bearing in mind, I still was processing everything that happened on day one. The, 28, the 27th of October, 2023. I was still deep in everything that happened. I wasn't over that for then this to happen to me on top of that now I don't know if he gave me the wrong address out of spite I don't know what he was definitely drunk and out of his mind I know that much but it's mad it was crazy and for me I got PTSD as well I don't like being outside late night on my ones not knowing what's going on I don't like it it brought back severe PTSD and major flashbacks hence why I was so overwhelmed I was ready to go home. I just thought, you know what? I bought my ticket to go home. Sort my stuff out. When I finally calmed down a little bit, I made sure my stuff was in my suitcase. The only thing I left out was the things I needed to get ready with. Also, let me also add. So the next day now, so this is now the 29th of October. I remember I said I was meant to leave the 30th. I said that I need to go. From when I was in the club, I bought my ticket and said I'm not doing this. Even in the club, I forgot to mention, he's making all these little side comments talking about how you're moving like one lost sheep and all this other stuff. But I said I'm ignoring it. So also, someone I was friends with, she's blocked me because she's a weirdo. I don't know why she's blocked me. She's weird. But she was my ex best friend. And obviously, I'm near to her, so we arranged to meet. We was friends for about two, three years. We were friends from 2021, so you do the maths of how long we was friends for. We fell out literally like a couple of days ago. Well, she broke, she blocked me. Cool. So obviously she knew everything that happened and stuff. I told her I bought the ticket to go home. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'll, I can't do it anymore. Type type of thing. So you know the tickets are not cheap. I think I paid thirty pound for that ticket. And the one I initially did, it I didn't think I even had to pay extra cost for return. So the time I did it for clashed with the time we had brunch for we had arranged to do a brunch but she's just like oh just come just come and just go back home the day is meant to go back home just come and i only stayed she said just to stay just to come and see her i only stayed for the normal time and came to see her because it's her i did it for her not for him not even for me i did it for her cool so, Cause I even told him I'm not gonna lie, I might go home. I I can't do it and all this other stuff. He's acting like he understands where I'm coming from, but you don't because you did the same thing. You keep doing the same thing, but whatever. I'm not dealing with it. But for her sake, for her sake, her manner, I said cool. I will just stay and fuck it out. Cause I'm gonna get to a point where I'm not really feeling safe around you no more. As much as me and not really cool, from her side. That's probably the only highlight that I had of being in Manchester. And that's the only time I got pictures. Because when I asked her for pictures, it wasn't a problem. She took them for me. I was like, can I get some pictures, please? Because since I've been here, I've not got no pictures. And she did that for me. 
Simple, no long talking. And that's the only highlight. I've come back now, and obviously, we're not really chatting to him, even though I'm in his house, not really talking like that again. Because you know, what I'm saying, comes to the end of the day now, the last day, sorry, of me actually leaving for real now. I had issues with my ticket. I think it was a thing where I didn't actually book the return properly or something like that, so I had to book another one. So you'll see, money is being rinsed. Even though I shouldn't have bought that ticket to go home the day that I wasn't supposed to, it's because of how I felt. I didn't want to be here no more. I didn't feel comfortable being here no more, so I did that for that reason. Cool. And even though he treated me the way he did, I still thanked him for, you know, having for him having me in his house. Because, you know, even though you were trying to leave me for dead, you did it twice, I still thanked you because, you know, I'm like that. I'm, I'm got some maturity in me to do that because I didn't have to and obviously I told him how I felt again about everything and I said he wants to pretend like he understood but he doesn't understand doesn't care because if he did you wouldn't have even have done that because from the times before we've been through this I've spoken to you about it all you're doing the same thing each and every time someone who's sorry doesn't do it again you learn from that and you do better than that so that's all I needed to be honest with you everything he did I needed that because now from that point I've learnt to not forgive people and to keep them cut off when they're cut off the only reason why I mean him even end up becoming cool was because you wanted to message my mother about me and all this other stuff and for some reason I felt like rekindling with you because as I said I was immature enough to do that because I couldn't I didn't have to do that I could have left it and said I'm not chatting to you because whatever happened I was over it so that's why I said cool we can rekindle but now there's no rekindling. Doesn't matter how you want to come and apologize if you want to send me my money back because I feel like I'm still owed money, but whatever. If you want to write me a handwritten apology, no, nothing's going to make me forgive you again. You did what you did, I needed that, and now I've learned. And to be honest with you, with it, everything that's happened, it's my own fault. I take full accountability because, as I said, you've been like this multiple times with me. It wasn't for me to come and spend time with you because you've done wrong every single time that I've spoken to you, been around you, do you understand? And when they do it once, do it twice, they'll do it again, again, and again, and again. So it's my own fucking fault for even coming down there thinking you was going to be cool and not be on no BS and use on, on nothing but BS for no good reason. And that's the more of the story. It's don't forgive people that's done you wrong multiple times because they're going to keep doing it. Even if they actually come to their senses, it should be too late by then. You should never allow people. It doesn't matter if they come to their senses. They've done it wrong the first, second, third time. From the first time, you don't even give in again. Do you understand? And I've learned that with people. I'm learning to just... I'm trying to be forgiving, but then it's like you shouldn't be forgiving. When it's certain things like that, don't give in, man. End of it. Can't have chat for me. And that's what's going on. And yes, I'm not. And I said to myself when I left, I'm not gonna chat to him. I don't have respect for him no more. I can't do any of that. It's not a beef thing, but I can't associate myself with someone like that because those are your true colors to sh that are showing through. Do you understand? Like, I can't do it to myself, man. So yeah, guys, that's that's the end. I told you it'll be a lot. It is a fucking lot. That happened like two weeks ago from now, and I'm still taking it all in. It's still a lot. As I've mentioned it back, it, it's brought back a lot of things. It's a lot. <sighs> but yeah, man, that's the end of the story time. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe, most importantly. Socials will be linked in the description of this video. And also, make sure not stream my songs, man. I've not really spoken about the fact that I've done songs. I'm going to speak on a lot of things I can speak on, I'm going to speak on. Make sure you go stream my music, also linked in the description. But you know what? Without further ado, over and out.